Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. Today I want to show you some handy small feature but I think it will help you a lot in your automation uh, which is the random function. So I'm going to start a new scenario as always going to jump right in. Uh, as a reminder I will leave some important links in the description box below that will be useful to you guys make sure to check them out. I'm going to call this random. All right, I'm going to save quickly and this is make.com and this is the first node that we have. I'm going to click on the plus button and I'm going to start with a variable. So I'm going to name this variable random. Okay, I'm going to click OK and I'm going to auto align everything. Now we have a variable named random. So this is still empty. So what I wanted to do is uh, get a random value, value a number between two, uh, between two numbers. This could be useful in a lot of things to uh, to make something variable, right? If you want, for example, to wait a variable time each time for a, for a, for for a process. For example, if you're posting on social media and you want to post uh, each time you post, you want to vary the time. So it's not uh, every every hour. It would be uh, it would be very it would be more uh, variable towards that. And if you want, for example to uh, we use this in our quote uh, quote uh, uh, selector uh, we had the row number and we uh, generated a random row number and pick one randomly from our quotes and sent it uh, via email to us every day so this could be a lot uh, useful in a lot of scenarios so first I'm gonna go to um, function there's something called random I'm gonna click this and OK and run this I wanna see what kind of result this gives me so this gives me that huge uh, float number that is small okay what I want is I'm gonna click this and hover over this so it gives me a floating point random number between 0 and 1 <clears throat> so what we want to do is make uh, first of all remove the float so remove that comma uh, to do that we can do uh, either round or floor so round uh, so it rounds the number uh, anything uh, below 0.5 it will round to the lo lowest and everything above 0.5 it will round to the maximum uh, so floor is uh, it will round uh, it will always uh, round to the least one okay so I like to use round I'm gonna put this in here so what do you suggest this happens right if we hit run it will do zero right every because if it's below 0.5 it will always do zero uh, so what we want here is to multiply this now don't put multiply on the keyboard uh, like this it will not work so you need to select the multiply operator from the math function. So I need to multiply this by 100, for example. Click OK and then run. So this will give me 78 if I run it again, give me 18 if I run it again, it gives me 55. So it gives me a random number every time. So what I want to do is uh, have a plus. If I, if I want to have a number between, so I want to have, I want to add plus two. So what does this give me? This gives me a number between 100 and two, okay? So if I run, so it will always be above two, right? Because I've put this plus thing. So it will always be above two. Uh, okay, so that's, uh, that's uh, doing a random. So uh, if, if I remove the two, then zero might be included in there, right? The zero might be included in there. Uh, and I always want, uh, if I always want something above, so this will be the minimum, okay? Uh, let's say four. Then four, it would be the min four would be the minimum. Okay. There you go. All right, so this is the random function in a nutshell quickly uh, explaining how the random function works 
uh, use this often in your uh, scenarios to get something variable to get something uh, more organic every time you can use it in timers you can use it in uh, to a way to pick up elements uh, uh, moving forward okay I hope this lesson was beneficial it was a quick one but random uh, uh, the random function is very very powerful and very cool to know uh, so as always I'll leave some links in this in the description box below make sure to check that out if you did like this lesson uh, give it a like subscribe for more lessons in the future uh, and I'm gonna see you in the next lesson